Ooh. Mm. His air uh, air smash attacks right there. 16 yeah. damage, crazy. And he has a little bit more pushback. Well, I tested it myself. That he has a lot more. He has a little bit more pushback on his shot. This is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. his, jet, his whole jet connects now, which is really good. Oh, I mean, it's not the percentage isn't that great, but it's, it's, but it's still a combo starter, which is really good. Um, so this is. This is a really good position for him because um, if you can just try and like wall those and go for those straight pokes, then she's gonna, actually gonna have trouble killing. She may be really hard. Uh, she may be really easy to kill like a, because of her power, but Lenny can be really difficult. And Fox is heavy. I always thought that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's up now. Well, it chipped out before. Um, I always felt like Fox was a little this matchup, but I don't know. You're gonna be really sure that Fox is very viable with custom. Yeah, Pepe's actually uh, is here after defeating Helper. Well, those are like, oh, okay, so he's, yeah, he's got some momentum going. What I like is, it's not like, you know, his jab is still as viable. Like, it's still a good fun to mix up moves, like, more jab, mm -hmm. or ground, or something like that. It's still very solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid neutral. One, two, one, two, which wasn't very viable in the first place, anyway. So I would say, uh, if he gets him up to just like a little bit more percentage, then he can sit tight. Um, if he loses the stock, he won't have to worry much. But right now, he still has to worry about this. And like I said, so now this is still essentially an even game because he won't have too much combo ability because she's light, and uh, the damage is gonna make her like go far. Yeah, the thing about Hackies is he knows how to get the up. It's just a matter of getting his hands. Ooh, never ro rolling behind him. You know, she can down smash in both directions twice. Yep. Dude, he's not letting that loom go. <laughs> Alright, so now he's gotta make something happen right now. Let's see the Ooh, Ooh nice. Very nice juke. Oh, okay. I actually thought he was gonna die and put it down there. I don't know why. Ooh, that's Always remember that if she has her, air, her second jump, then you can't be too reckless on the ledge, because that halo will knock you on, she'll safely recover. We had, we had three Rosalia players today. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. That bread and butter. She's a little too, so she gets hit by the whole game immediately. Yeah, like you can, you can get hit, you can get hit by, you can shield the down air, but if you don't uh, shield the landing hit, which is the one with the set knockback, which is why it works at any percent. It's the same thing with Kirby and Mario. Yes. There's another setup with that act. Well, not with the down air, but it's with the neutral air. You hit them, and mm -hmm. if they miss that, up smash. Right. Well, for neutral air, it would be if you hit, get hit with the weak part. Because oh, that's the best. Which, where would that be in the hit? The later hit. Three, that's it. Two, one, go! All right. So I'm curious as to what Dugan may have banned because this is actually not that bad of a counter pick for Khakis. She like uh, really likes to do a stair stepper, you know, like I'm gonna take you up, I kill off the top. Sure, I got a higher ceiling, but I kill so, so vertical. Very surprised to fight right now. I could see. Maybe you have the option to ban this stage. Oh, um, actually, I could see him possibly running Halberd and Dreamland, because Dreamland has a normalized ceiling, so those platforms are even more deadly, and Halberd's Halberd. So, I could see this being all... Oh, 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 I think I know for sure this is actually a pretty good city for Dugan. Like, he always looks really good on the but that drops his really good position. Once that, Numa's off the stage, I'm pretty sure he's Yeah. Fox is a very fast character, and having more ground to run on uh, can make him very lethal. Yeah, and Dugan knows all those strings, like... Ooh, nice footstool. Dugan, one of the few people I swear goes for footstool. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm jump on your head. And there goes Luma. Nah, he's, he's fine. I feel like Dugan doesn't utilize twisting cards nearly as much as he would, should be able to. But, uh, I was getting reckless with that thing earlier. This is a really good thing. Nice. Yeah. It's very easy. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Yeah. PGI just to just the He knew. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Great timing. Yep. We got magic. Mm-hmm. That's another thing about I like to do this box is I get so much more than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really awesome. It's up to a backwards jab, because it's three frames, so it's like as fast as a regular jab. It's like, alright, I got both sides covered, don't worry. I actually found out something pretty new. I actually found out something new about Fox. Like, a little bit of a uh, shield pressure thing. Uh, you basically need to do the approach, you do back air, and move me, you do an up tilt. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. It's good effect to how it's back there. I'm not gonna like anyway. You get up to land right after, so it's like, once you're back there, don't think like, oh, you're over there. It's like, it's like, right? It's so cool. Yeah, and we have pretty much like a similar play of the last game, where he's got like a, he's got a minimal lead. Um, and he just has to try and just build on it. Yeah, I think Kakis is always great. Uh, that's the thing about Kakis, is he, he tends to let his lead out of the way at times, which is a little bit of a fast play. Those next to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Ooh. See, the tank was actually really funny there was that Dugan actually went stopped at the midpoint of the stage because he thought he could juke and go back. Actually, on this stage, because of how big the island is, he isn't able to. Once he went that direction, he was committing to it. But Dugan not knowing that was like, okay. Because that would have been actually really easy to just like try and go for a stage spike and then the Lion Cat, he's being able to tech it. Oh, so that's what I mean by just letting Luma go. I don't know if he did that for traction. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure he definitely did that as a way to be like, okay, go fight Luma, let me recover. Yeah, wow, that, that laser's gonna be true. That's gonna be it. Yep. Oh, Dugan doing this was just a little bit too early. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah, this, this is really good. Wow, that man is on his tail. Yeah, that's a commitment. Oh boy, I stay here. for the roll read. Nice. Oh! Ooh, very nice. Ledge setups. Oh no, he actually went out him too. Mm -hmm. That dash attack was a bad dash attack. He actually had enough time to do uh, up smash. Yep. Every time. Make sure you keep track of his jumps. Actually, uh, bring this back. Oh, that, no! Good stuff. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's gonna go with the up air. Oh, but a good down smash. Coming from the beginning. The curse. Alright. 